Hi guys. It is a soon to be sweltering summer day here in the end times in early May. Uh, that would be Friday morning, May 11th, 2018. And uh, I'm sure every one of you out there knows what that means. What May 11th, 2018 means, it means that as of today, Humpty Dumpty Tribe returns eight years old. Good God Almighty, guys. Eight years of uh, this insanity since I lost my goddamn mind uh, walking away from a $100,000 a year uh, real estate career, a beautiful home, uh, hundreds of, of lovable friends, uh, an absolutely, uh, you know, just perfect life so I could end up uh, sitting in some run-down old barn in a floodplain uh, with a, a little dog in my lap talking to my imaginary friends on YouTube. Wow. Uh, let me tell you what eight years of being a doomsday prophet, an environmental alarmist, and the chronicler of down, the downfall of global industrial civilization has done for my life. But in celebration of the fact, I'm going to do the, what I do every year is take this uh, bittersweet memory Looking, going into the Humpty Dumpty Tribe analytics for the past year, what exactly has, according, if you can believe one goddamn word, of the, uh, the YouTube algorithms, uh, with, with that caveat, uh, if, if you want to believe a goddamn word YouTube has to say, let's take a look back over the last year and then I'm going to come back with a few thoughts about, uh, about some other things. But first, let's take a, if you don't want to listen to this, just, just move forward because we're going to talk about a few other things before I go. All right, I see in eight years, yours truly has made 5,000 251 videos and it doesn't tell me how many of those were in the past year but do you believe it and every one of my analytics is up 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 I've got the green up arrow every one of my analytics is in better shape than it was one year ago and but you believe that in the past year uh, my tribes members have spent nine million one hundred twenty three thousand four hundred seventy minutes listening to me rattle on about the collapse of a planet and before I let my ego get too swollen what that translates to and this is the best it has ever done that translates to an average view duration of seven minutes and thirty six seconds that uh, the majority of people will listen to my bullshit for 7 minutes and 36 seconds, which is another way of saying when I'm rambling on for 30 minutes, I'm talking to myself for 22 and a half minutes. So what does that translate to? Uh, and the number of views, this is 1 million 199,189 views according to uh, YouTube. Again, there are many people who uh, insist that Hambone Little Tail and Humpty Dumpty Tribe are being shadow banned. And that is absolute unadulterated horseshit. Of course, my ego would like to believe that, but who the hell knows? Okay, according to YouTube, I have 33,985 thumbs up against 
only 3,580 thumbs down. And I will say, guys, I, you know, my trolls, uh, n not nearly as many trolls as I used to. I kind of miss my trolls. So 21,206 of you have left comments. And I try to share one of those each day. 21,200. Just shy of 5,000 of my videos have been shared by my tribe's members with uh, other folks. Uh, my videos, I have 9,357 of my videos in that have been put in other people's playlists. I notice, I wish I could really analyze this, apparently three of those videos uh, in the past year are responsible for a a huge uh, a huge percentage of those 9300 videos that have been put in other playlists on other channels uh huh and we have welcomed 1548 new subscribers to Humpty Dumpty Tribe in the past year I want to send out a big, fat, ham bone, little tail welcome to uh, to the 1,548 new tribes members. Okay, so what were the top 10 videos of this year? No shit, Sherlock, for the, uh, probably the 10th year in a row, my one, my one a uh, viral video, which I don't know how many, it, it would be nice if it would say how many, I think I'm up to over 400,000 lifetime viewings of Moving to Latin America, a gringo warning was viewed 50, over 50,000 times this year, far and away over viewed over four times as often as my number one video that I have made this entire year and it was just a few weeks ago and that would be my first interview with Robert Jensen titled The News is Bad and It's Getting Worse where uh, 11,502 people have tuned into that video. Right behind him is my interview with climatologist Andrew Glickson coming in at over 10,000 views. And then, uh, oh, they, 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 it's, it's judged in total minutes of, of viewing. I get it. So I, I'm not analyzing it. The number, this is the total amount of time people have listened to the video. I get it. So uh, what are my other big ones? Here is, of course, how to harvest and prepare San Pedro cactus. And right below that, how to remove dents with a toilet plunger. There you go. How to remove dents in your gas-sucking truck. Uh, with a toilet plunger, which I think is definitely in the top 10, probably in the top five videos I have ever had. And Humpty Dumpty Tribe is uh, talking about the collapse of a planet and the top five videos, how to remove dents with a toilet plunger has been viewed 54,000 times. So actually, okay, Judging by the number of views, uh, you know, I'm just going to rearrange this. Uh, judging by the number of views, we have, okay, now, how to remove dents with a toilet plunger has overtaken moving to Latin America. Uh, 54,556 people, the number one video of the last year, 
an eco Nazi, how to remove dents with a toilet plunger, uh, the the number one video of the year, followed by moving to Latin America, a gringo warning with fi over fifty thousand views, and then we have Pebbles the Cockatoo's Merry Christmas message. If you are not familiar with Pebbles the Cockatoo, uh, coming in at over 28,000 views. Then uh, we have How to Harvest and Prepare San Pedro Cactus, just shy of 20,000. And now we have uh, Robert Jensen, The News is Bad and It's Getting Worse, uh, coming in at 11,502. So about five times as many people listening to how to remove dents with a toilet plunger than Robert Jensen talking about the news is bad and it's getting worse. Right before, right behind Robert, climatologist Andrew Glickson, my interview with him. Those are the two Voices of the Doomosphere interviews that have made it into the top ten videos. Underneath Andrew Glickson is my introductory video, Welcome to Humpty Dumpty Tribe. Now, get the hell out of here. There you go. And then underneath, Welcome to Humpty Dumpty Tribe, now get the hell out of here. A video about Chris Hedges. Uh, underneath that, a simple way to store your silver and gold, which is to put it in a uh, in a sewer pipe in a big PVC pipe from Home Depot, and bury it out in the yard, out in some uh, remote outpost. And the number ten video of the year coming in at 6,400 views. Did the Unabomber get it right? So we have Ted Kaczynski sharing the stage with, well, with me, of course, and Chris Hedges, Andrew Glickson, Robert Jensen, and Pebble the Cockatoo. Pebble the Cockatoo being the most uh, of, of all the people who we heard from directly. It was Pebble the Cockatoo's Merry Christmas Marriage. Getting more vi more views than Robert Jetson and Andrew Glickson combined. And not surprisingly, as has been the case pretty much since day one 81% of my viewers are male, 19% of my viewers are female. Anyway, uh, so that brings us to the close of this year's Bittersweet Analytics. I'm glad to see every analytic on the up and up, and so now a few uh, odds and ends before we begin uh, the, the next year on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. First, I want to make a quick uh, amplification and clarification about where you can get Humpty Dumpty Tribe and Sancho Panza swag. If you want to get a Humpty Dumpty Tribe or Sancho Panza t-shirts, uh, I see I got a total uh, of two orders for t-shirts yesterday. So what I've decided, guys, is I'm just going to turn this over to this company where you will not be going through me. All right, I'm just going to turn it over where you can shop your t-shirts, put it on a damn credit card, get them to ship it to you, blah, blah, blah. And what I am going to ask for above and beyond their price, which tends to be 20 to $25, depending on you know what kind of shirt you get, I am going to get $10 over that. So uh, the price of the shirts, uh, the Humpty Dumpty Tribe or the Sancho Panza Rules t-shirts will range somewhere 
uh, between 30 and 35 dollars of that ham bone little tail will be getting ten dollars to help uh, me do what I do here but I am not going to pay the thirty dollar startup fee that I need to pay when I get 20 pre-orders so when I get 18 more people uh, emailing me at Humpty Dumpty Tribe at gmail.com saying they are ready, uh, willing and able to spend uh, probably $32 on Humpty Dumpty Tribe or Sancho Panza swag, uh, then I will start the account. But I have better things to do with my life than uh, run a t-shirt shack. Uh, but anyway, Humpty Dumpty Tribe at gmail.com if you would like a t-shirt and when 20 of you and I get orders for 20 we will put that into motion and you can deal with the t-shirt company. Okay, now of course we need to have the discussion about you know what the broken record discussion that I didn't get very much into yesterday and that is uh, if you would like to donate uh, to Humpty Dumpty Tribe to help show me some moral support for what I do, and if you can find it in your hearts or wallets to dip into your heart and wallet to send uh, Hambo Little Tail and Sancho Panza uh, a, a few dollars as a token of your appreciation for what I do with my life, what I am spending more and more and more and more of my life doing. I have spent well more than 40 hours this past week. Uh, now that I've, uh, I've created a Sancho Panza channel and beginning on Sunday we're starting the, the brand new uh, uh, Collapse Chronicles channel, all of my channels non-commercial. I do not make you sit through those goddamn commercials. I do this as my service to the planet. Okay? And if you consider it me begging on here for uh, for you to throw me uh, a few dollars like you might do to a cocktail waitress who spends 20 seconds of her life walking across the room to bring you a beer. If, if, if you, for whatever reason, guys, if you get anything out of this uh, and you want to show your a token of appreciation, I have every video I ever put out there in the description shows several ways you can do that by uh, joining my Patreon account, either my account or Sancho's, to uh, throw some money into my GoFundMe account. I really want to thank uh, the latest two, uh, two women uh, supporting me in the past 24 hours. We are 90% from uh, towards my goal this year for my gas sucking uh, truck account. Uh, there's always PayPal. You can just donate by PayPal or if you just want to send a check or money order uh, without having these internet places taking their pound of flesh off the top, email me at Humpty Dumpty Tribe at gmail.com and I will send you a physical address to mail a, uh, a check or money order. And, and guys, you know, I, I'm really at wit's end. I don't know, again, I cannot state too many times how much I absolutely appreciate from the bottom of my heart the approximately 1% of you who have ever found it in their hearts or wallets to send me $1 for eight years uh, of hard work. I, I don't know what else to say to the 99% of my subscribers who for whatever reason, and we all know what the reason is, I don't need to say it again. 
we know the reason that you have never uh, coughed up so much a a as one penny to to uh, support what I'm doing when you would have no problem uh, giving a waitress two dollars for bringing you a beer. Uh, I I'm embarrassed for you. Uh, I I anyway, I I'm, j I'm just embarrassed for you. But uh, I still love you guys. I love all of my 99% of my cheapskate uh, skin flint uh, subscribers. And uh, it, is your, it is your conscience uh, if you want to keep right on uh, receiving some benefit uh, from Humpty Dumpty Tribe without, uh, you know, without any acknowledgement. Um, but I do have a message for, uh, for you. I mean, that's, that's your own business. That's your life. But I do have a message, and I won't use any names, but it's like the fucking smartass uh, yesterday who made who made some smart remark uh, about how Hambone is a beggar. Uh, he did not use that word, but it was clear. Uh, anybody out there giving me shit for for asking for donations of of uh, moral support uh, for doing what I am doing in this lonely, thankless profession. And, and you want to run your little smart mouth about it. You're a fucking spineless little coward. I challenge any one of you talking shit about me or anybody else, anybody else out there uh, devoting this amount of time and energy to our lives to talk about the most important uh, issue facing humanity, not monetizing the channel, doing this because we give a fuck uh, about what's going on on this planet and all of our fellow earthlings, and you run in your fucking smart mouth. My question to you is, brother, uh, and anyone else who has run their fucking smart mouth, and I guess you're running your smart mouth to uh, other people, you know, James Howard Kunstler, uh, uh, Darge a male, uh, and, and I could go on and on, Paul Beckwith, any of th these others. Uh, what the fuck do you do with your life? What are you doing with your life to make a difference on this planet? You fucking smart ass. My guess is, is you're working in some goddamn uh, wage slave dead end job or whatever, and, and I'm not out here talking shit about what you do to validate your fucking existence. And I don't fucking appreciate it. Fuck you and your goddamn smart remarks. If anybody out there listening to this has a goddamn problem with me or James Howard Kunstler or Paul Beckwith or Dar Jamel or, or even dude uh, asking for donations, uh, get the fuck out of the tribe. It's your choice whether you want to donate or not. But if you're going to sit there and run your fucking smart mouth, you, you fucking little chicken shit spineless coward, go fuck yourself and get the fuck out of here, you know? And one other thing, since I just mentioned dude's name, I am going to close my, uh, my, my little birthday celebration here with the final conversation we are ever going to have about dude again on this channel. This is it. Guy McPherson is going to die on Humpty Dumpty Tribe once and for all and forever. Today is the last day. If you have a comment about Guy McPherson, Guy McWho, Guy McDude, Guy Mc Holy fuck, that guy, this guy, that guy over there, I've heard a fucking enough about the, about the guy. I, 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 I'm done with it. I, 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 I created an entire new channel partly so I could offer you voices from dozens of other people down here in the Doomosphere. And what do I get? I, I, I put one fucking video up for one day and I'm already getting comments on my new channel about this fucker. 
put it to rest. I don't give a flying fuck anymore. Brother JJ summed it all up eloquently yesterday. Uh, I don't like assholes. We're, we're done with it. Uh, as after today, any mention uh, uh, of, of Guy McPherson on Humpty Dumpty Tribe will be eradicated. I don't give a fuck if you were one of his ass-licking toadies or if you're anyone with a brain who agrees with me about this jackass. I don't care anymore. I, this subject has, this dead horse has been beaten into the fucking ground and uh, get it out of your system on comments to this video today, May 11th, because uh, beginning Saturday, May 12th, and actually uh, I'm heading out for the weekend, so there will be no more postings on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. We will start fresh on uh, Humpty Dumpty Tribe on Monday morning, so this is the last video you will see on Humpty Dumpty Tribe until Monday, but uh, after today, after this rant, uh, any any mention uh, of Guy McPherson or Guy McDoot, I don't give a fuck from what side of the Guy McDoot fence you're on. I am simply going, the, the first two times, I am going to erase the comment. Okay. And the third time you mention this fucker uh, on my channel and my comment section, you will be kicked out of the tribe. Okay? Tell it to somebody who gives a fuck what you think about Guy McPherson. Was that plain enough? Was there anything in that that you did not understand the new Guy McPherson is dead policy? If I want to have intelligent uh, an intelligent conversation uh, with, with somebody in the Doomosphere uh, about near-term human extinction or whatever else, I will just interview Sancho Panza and, and let Sancho Panza explain to us uh, that we are so fucked. And before I go, one more time, I do uh, want to send out a heartfelt apology. Uh, apology? Uh, yeah, right. Uh, apology, my ass. Uh, a, a big thank you to Guy McPherson, A, for doing what he does. For uh, for waking people up to this, and pers on a more personal note, I want to thank Guy McPherson from the bottom of my little hambone heart for doing more to promote Humpty Dumpty Tribe and the work of Hambone Little Tail than any person on the planet. There would probably be no Humpty Dumpty Tribe. There would be no Hambone Little Tail if it were not for the tire dedication of Guy McPherson for bringing uh, my work to the attention of his clueless uh, ass-licking toadies. And, 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 and people think that I'm joking when I say this. Guy McPherson, if you're listening to this, brother, I love you. I... Uh, you know, you are the reason that Humpty Dumpty Tribe is on the air today. Uh, but that being said, I, I, I'm done with it. I'm done with it. And, and there's probably nobody on the planet happier than Guy McPherson to hear that Hambone Little Tail and Humpty Dumpty Tribe are, are, are putting Guy McPherson to bed. And so anyway, I'm going to wrap up this rant because I have an interview with my Humpty Dumpty Tribe hero, environmental journalist Richard Manning, for my new channel. Uh, I'm heading out to a big picking party for the weekend. I will be back Sunday evening, 
and hopefully I will remember to post my interview with, uh, with uh, Paul Ehrlich on my sister channel, Collapse Chronicles, on Sunday evening, if I'm not too tired. And then Monday morning, we're going to start bright and fresh with the year number nine of Humpty Dumpty Tribe. Welcome aboard. Keep up the good fight. Onward through the fog. And I'm off to a picking party with my clueless, lovable friends. Love you guys. Bye, guys.